Nightfox here bringing you another Tech Tuesday video. In this series, I answer your comments of questions that you might have on how to do tech items either with uh, Xbox gaming or with PC gaming or just how to do YouTube in general. I try to answer those questions and today's topic actually comes from one of you guys, uh, Miss Maroon Panda. I uh, wants to know how to download images to the Xbox 360 home screen so you can use it. So we're going to dive in depth detail on how to do that now. Join me. Alright, so before we get started, I want to let you know that this video is going to touch base on two different ways on how to add a custom image to your Xbox home screen. One is a simple way with just using a single image, and the second way, which is what we're mainly going to spend this video on, is how to add a theme. Now a theme is a little bit different from a single image in that you can actually add up to four images within the theme to show up on various parts of the Xbox home screen. So for instance, if you go over to your settings, another image will come up that will be different than what it would be on the home screen itself. So we're going to dive into how to do the theming. Now the things that you'll need to do the theme is an Xbox, a PC, a configured USB flash drive, and of course the Horizon tool. Now I'm not going to go into details on how to install Horizon or how to do a configured USB. I've already done that in a previous video. If you do not have both of those things at this point, I recommend you click on this link right here and it'll take you to the point that you need to be in that video uh, to download Horizon and to configure you a USB. So I'll wait. Just kidding, no. <laughs> Just go ahead, go to, the, go to the link, come back here. So for those that have already done that and are already ready to go, let's go ahead and jump over to the Xbox and the PC and I'll show you what you need to do from there. All right, so we're gonna start off on the Xbox home screen. Uh, but at this point, you should have already put your USB flash drive into one of the open slots on the Xbox itself. Um, if you go over to system settings, go down to storage. First thing we need to do is move over our profile. So it's gonna be listed in the hard drive itself. Go down to profiles and click on the profile that you wanna move and apply the theme to. Uh, it's gonna tell you that it's gonna need to sign you out when it's moving it. That's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, we're gonna move it over to our memory device. It should take just a second. As you can see, we are already done. Uh, if you wanna check to make sure that it is in there, just go to the memory unit itself and go down to profiles, and there it is, it's in there. Uh, what I'm gonna do at this point, we're actually gonna hop on the computer and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so now that we are on my desktop, let's go ahead and open up Horizon. Now, if you haven't plugged in your USB flash drive from the Xbox into your computer, I recommend you do so right now. That way it can automatically detect it. Um, and also, if you have Horizon and you have this pop-up, don't worry about downloading any updates. It'll tell you that you're in offline mode. Again, don't worry about it. Um, we're just going to need it to do a few things here. So, Device Explorer automatically showed up. If for some reason it didn't, Go to Tools, Device Explorer, it's right there. Uh, so that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need this. If you look into the gamer profiles, you see that mine is here. Uh, but we're gonna need to th create a theme. And also in the tools, you'll see where it says Theme Creator. So you're gonna need to click on this and you'll see this pop up. And this is basically going to show you the four images um, that you can use to down, that you can use to put on your Xbox home screen. And you can see which image does what. So we've got the main image, the game library image, the media library image, and of course the system setting image. So all we need to do is load the images on here. Uh, keep in mind that the optimal resolution for these images is 1280 by 720. You don't have to use that resolution, but I recommend it for uh, the purposes of it coming through clearly and how you want it to. Uh, you can actually download some software. I use Adobe Photoshop myself to resize images, but there's also free programs that you can use. You just have to look it, look it up. Uh, so let's go ahead and load some images here. So for the main image, I actually created a folder that has all the images on there already. Uh, let's see if I can locate it real quick. Hang on one second. Um, Let's see, okay, Night Fox theme. 
So here is my images that I'm going to be putting on the computer. So we clicked on this one first, so I'm going to have my home screen image be this Xbox photo that I put on here that I made especially for the Xbox. Uh, for the game library, we're going to put my favorite game on there, which is Minecraft. And then for the media library, we'll just put this little cool thing right here because, I don't know, it looks cool and I really don't have anything else that can go there. And then for the settings, we're going to do the technical bloop loops because I think it'll be an awesome addition to it. Uh, so everything's loaded on here. We are good to go. All we need to do now is save to device. Uh, we can click here. I don't like going this route simply because it can get corrupted, um, but I want to go ahead and just do a save as. And we can do a, we can name it as Night Fox Theme. You can name it as whatever you want to name it. Just keep in mind, remember what you name it. And remember where you save it to. So I'm going to save it into the theme folder that I had. Uh, we'll click save. It should do it successfully pretty easily. There we go. It was created successfully. So let's go ahead and inject this thing. If you remember the device explorer, we'll go ahead and pull that back up. And let's go ahead and inject new file. And what we're going to inject is our Night Fox theme that we just did. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's going to inject it into the flash drive that is what we need to do if for some reason it doesn't you can also go to your gamer profile right click inject the file here um, and either way will work and see it's already it already shows there but we'll go ahead and override it and uh, there we go okay so this part is done let's go ahead and hop back on to the xbox and let's load this puppy up Okay, so now we are back on the Xbox home screen. Let's go ahead and go over to our system settings. At this point, you should have already put your USB flash drive back into the Xbox. Um, if you haven't, you can do so right now. But after you get that done, you'll go down to storage in the system settings and then over to the memory unit itself. Uh, from here, we're going to need to move over two things this time. Uh, we got to move over our profile. It will ask to sign you out. That's fine, we'll move it back over to the hard drive. Shouldn't take but a second. Once that's done, you'll actually go back into the memory unit and then go down to themes and your custom theme that you have just made will be listed there. So we need to do the same thing, move it to the hard drive and that should be just about it. That's all there is to it. Uh, now we need to go ahead and select it. So to do that, you'll back all the way out and you'll go over to your social and then your uh, own profile. Uh, and then over here, all the way to the right, you'll see where it says change theme. Click on change theme, go all the way down where it says my custom theme, and there you go. So all we have to do now is select it. It should apply it and everything should be good. As you can see, we are now have a new, very good looking home screen. <laughs> and then if we go over to our system settings, in our system settings, you can see where I do all my technical bleep loops. That splash screen is there. If we go over to say like games uh, and look at my games and stuff, this will be the media area. Um, it'll be the same for all of that type of stuff. And you can see the media splash screen is right back there. And then if I go down to recents, um, you should see the last different screen that we put, which is my favorite game, Minecraft, right there in the background. So that's really all there is to it. All right, well, that's all there is to it on the theming. But as I said, there is a simpler way that if you want to just do one image and that's it, don't want to add a theme, there is a way you can do it without having a configured USB or having Horizon. So let's go ahead and dive into that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out how to put a custom image on the Xbox and apply it as a single theme throughout the entire thing. If you don't have Horizon and you don't want to go through the trouble of downloading it, this is a very, very simple way to add a custom image to your Xbox home screen. So what you should do, you should actually load up your USB flash drive. As you can see, it's right here. And then all you have to do is find a photo, a picture, a wallpaper, or whatever image that you want to put on your home screen and I'm gonna put my desktop background picture actually on my Xbox as well just so we can have it tie in together so after that's loaded and it's put on there all I did was drag and drop you can move it copy cut paste whatever you want to do just to make sure it's on there and that's all there is to it we're gonna hop over to the Xbox and I'm gonna show you how to apply it as a background 
Okay, so now we are back on the Xbox. Our USB device is loaded into the Xbox itself. All you need to do is press the center button, go over to media, which is going right, go down to picture viewer, and then portable device. And then once you do that, you should see that your picture is showing up right there. If you notice, down at the bottom where it says Y, apply as background, all you have to do is press Y and it's gonna ask you if you wanna set it as the background. You say, why, yes, I do. Thank you for asking. And there you go. So now if we go to the home screen, our custom background is showing up there. So this is the easy, simple way to do it. If you only wanna have uh, one image all the way across and you don't care about them changing, this is all you have to do. That's really simple. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. I do wanna thank all of you so much for joining in and hopefully this tutorial helped you out a little bit. If you have any future questions or comments or anything you'd like to add, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Or if you want to be like Miss Maroon Panda did, uh, leave a comment on a suggestion for a Tech Tuesday video, something that you've always wondered, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and who knows, I might choose yours. That's going to do it for me guys. Until next time, stay foxy everybody. And I will see you all later.